All right, guys, uh, just an update into the install. Me and Dave are here as we are um, working on the system, but I have a very observant um, uh, subscriber who uh, detects a mistake I did. You know, there's no perfection in humanity. I accepted the, the mistake. He told me one of the... Um, the uh, sensors for the leg right here, where Dave, Dave's right here on the breaker, what is up there. So this one, which is the leg two, was reading minus at the bottom here, where Dave's finger is right there. So now it's already zero out to zero, zero watt. So this leg is covering right now, the solar panels are covering all the loads come in there, or oh, we just got three watts there. So this is the one that was reading minus, minus I think 100 watts yesterday. So Joe, Joe Tang, T-A-N-G, thank you so much. I, I know probably you are from the uh, Asian Pacific. Thank you, I wanna thank you. And uh, you pointed out to me yesterday is a long day of work. Uh, working yesterday, me and, um, me and uh, Dave here. And Dave's, Dave can even approve that that uh, it's too much yesterday. It was a it's, long it, day. Uh, we were both pretty tired, so a small little mistake of turning the sensor the wrong way happened. So yeah, small human error, but still correctable, and we're up and running 100%. Um, even on a really cloudy, miserable day. It's super cloudy out there. Look at what I'm pulling in just on a really cloudy, uh, cold Minnesota day, fall day. It's less power I'm uh, accepting from the grid and more power I'm getting for myself free of charge. So, you know, hey, every little bit counts up. You add it all together, it makes a big savings. So if you look at right now what um, Dave is pulling right now, instead of buying from the grid, let me show you what he is buying right now. So Dave is buying uh, 138 what only look at this other leg nothing aren't you going to be happy about it absolutely I'm absolutely gonna... he's going to be happy about it and on a very bright sunshiny day it's zero out it'll be zero out and yeah. so less money for the electric company yep so and the good thing again dave uh just um uh received his bill so we're gonna start to see and tally uh what next month bill is gonna be so we can come back for a review on the bill time and see how much dollars um, he has dropped for just um, approximately within a month. Yes, I just got that in the email two days ago. So I will uh, have the bills to compare and uh, I'll shoot John a picture of my electric use this past month and we'll compare it to what we're going to start from this billing cycle starting with this month. So, yeah, it's going to be good. And remember, uh, it's not going to be perfect because we are now here almost fall in Minnesota. The sun is disappearing, but it's okay, which um, the cooler it is, the more efficiency. But look at this. It's a cloudy, really cloudy, bad. But Dave is still pulling over 140 something watt. He's fine. He had only a 1530. So kilowatts of array he's happy mm -hmm. because if you put a lot of power here, this inverter is going to be sitting without doing anything he has to see a load before he does something yeah so one's zeroed out the other one's only pulling a small amount yeah instead of buying a whole amount of load and um that's how that, that's what it is and if you guys are wondering why i keep pushing the buttons back and forth the backlights only stay about uh about five seconds or ten seconds and you don't want to leave. That's the other thing again. I was going to make a video about it. Never, ever leave your screen on. Stay on constantly. I can do it. I can show you how it works. But the thing is, you're going to be paying consequences um, towards your machine. Which, later on, nothing. Your screen you, burns it, out. It you burns can't out. see nothing. can't see nothing. So... Now the screen is on. Let's see. Starting up. Okay. 
And it's gonna stay on. They don't have to keep pushing the buttons anymore. Just to show you how things work here. But there's a penalty. Anything you do in life that is uh you pay a price for it. And the price is you don't have no screen. All you gotta do now, unless you have to put some meters over there, meters over there, like a kilowatt meter, then you can see what's pushing in but you can't see what's uh taken from the grid because the screen has uh different uh um specifications there that shows the dual system so this is what it is and this is what we're dealing with in a cloudy day they tend to be happy with it well i'm happy because the install is done and everything works perfectly and we don't complain so now Dave don't have to keep pushing the buttons anymore. But do I want to leave that screen on like that? Nope. No. Nope. We're going to put it back the way he had it. Yeah. So we're going to leave it like this. Well, this is just an update for you. Joe Tang, thank you so much for, like I thank you last night on the comment. Look at it. The, uh, the negative thing is gone. It was minus on the corner right here. Well, I was tired. Dave is tired. Dave can catch that because Dave is just a new guy into this. He's learning how things go. So I let Dave do his thing and learn. And this is how we do it right here. Live from JW Solo USA. Thanks for watching. Love you guys all. Happy Sunday. Bye. All right, folks. Uh, even though it's cloudy outside, we still bring about 180 watt. And it's compensating for the load which is a 222 watt they've just left the tv running and there's nobody watching it so two 180.6 watts cloudy outside let me show you the second inverter this is just producing uh, 41 because it's zero out the load so there is no need to put excess power because there's not enough um, draw on this leg at all. So this is the good thing about the uh, the GT Greater Inverter. Look, it's showing the temperature right now is uh, 35 degrees C. And the time you can see right there is 1558, which is a 358. And the date so this is the uh, power this leg would have brought more power but there's nothing to feed on that leg so you just compensate 40.1 or 40.9 uh, watts on that leg so it's zero out so this is the inverter you guys were having a concern for which is the um, the one with the uh, limiter error and look it just went up to 150 or to something 54 so you can see right here so let's see let's put on demand um the hot water on demand let's see what power will bring in all right this is dave on demand instant water heater it doesn't have like any boiler or anything these are all specs on the corner. I have to make a, a special video on that. It's, it has a E E M A X E M A X was that's the name, the brand. So you can able to tweak the temperature. You see that? So we said it at one twenty eight degrees. Okay. So this is all the piping and all the plumbing this is where the solar came in from outside see there it runs all the way so we're gonna test the uh, water heater thing and all the way back here and the wires came from the corner right there and the back of the board and all the way underneath here and out to these breakers and all the way up to the inverters okay let's see 152 
and 50 something. Let's turn the water heater. I'm just gonna open the tap right here. It says the hot, the H. Okay, it kicks in right there. You sense it right away, it's pulling power. Let's go to the inverters and see the power we're pulling out. It's pulling, see that? That's good. 2,670 2, something. And check this one out. This one was high too, it was over 100. So it's pulling 2,000. So that's the, the instant water heater. That's what it does. When it senses the load, then it pulls. It's cloudy outside and these are the panels, like I was saying, they were very on the corner. Those are the, the 630 and it's kind of shaded there a little bit. The sun is almost, uh, the clouds are not even clear, but these ones are pushing more because it's kind of no obstruction so this is the power is drawing to compensate see that 2190 so if i turn the array off let's see i just turned the solar off it's 2224 let's turn the solar on check the numbers and see it drops it to 2000 some of this way is fluctuating the instant water heater look at that 900 see that so I think it shut off it just kicks in because I just opened the tap running the tap slowly not too much so these are all the numbers here all right all right folks take care I clear our test bring you back here see the water heater is off and as soon as it kicks in, the water drains, then it feeds in back. Then you're gonna see more power kicking. So, like here, the water is coming really hot. And see, I'm gonna open more water. There you go, see? Kicks in, even the light flickers. Okay, now I just stop. Shut the tap and let's check the inverters here. They're gonna sit back doing nothing. See, it's only 10 watts coming from this leg. And this is the most uh, leg that is used in the house. So this is the one that has more panels on them. For some reason, that's how the house is wired. And this one is taking more power, more outlets or whatever on this. This one doesn't have much to do. Okay, 17 watts. All right, that completes our test and installation. And JW Solar USA, thanks for watching. Bye for now.